Revelation 2737, from the 13th of May 1943. God reveals himself to men and is not recognized. Divine love reveals itself to people in order to help them, yet people don't recognize it. Spiritual darkness is too great that even the light which breaks through the darkness is no longer recognized, and thus people can experience the most wondrous things, they pay no attention to them, and when God reveals himself to them in the word they do not grasp it and turn away from him, but God in his love brings himself close to them time and again, for he takes pity on humanity which has fallen into Satan's nets and cannot free itself from them by its own strength. And therefore he will make himself known to people even more clearly. Heaven and earth will tremble and his voice will resound loudly and audibly so that everyone will have to hear it. And again God will reveal himself to people through the forces of nature and his voice can no longer be overheard. And yet, even then God will still not be recognized because people are stubborn and do not want to bow down to a higher power. But God can no longer express himself more clearly if he does not want to impair people's freedom of faith. His love is unchanging and he will not let his creations fall which have emerged from it, but until they recognize God's love it cannot express itself as strength either. But in order for people to become aware of God's love he obviously shows himself and his working. He speaks to people everywhere and at all times if they only want to hear him, and he also conveys his word to those who do not want to unite with him but want to receive his word. But people of goodwill, will always recognize that God constantly takes care to inform them of his love, his strength and might. He wants to reveal himself to people as a being full of love and kindness, and he wants people to love this being and submit themselves to him. He wants them to acknowledge him as their father and creator and to establish the relationship of a child with its father so that he can always help them when they need his help. And therefore he makes himself known to them wherever possible and in the most diverse ways people no longer find their way back to him on their own because they no longer believe in his existence, because they are so far removed from true faith that they have lost the concept of God. And consequently he has to show himself to them again, he has to reveal himself to them again so that they will become believers again and believe in him and his might and strength. His reign and activity is no longer taken into account if it does not appear extraordinarily, and even then only a few recognize him. However, in order not to endanger people's freedom of faith God does not express himself in such a way that the human being would be forced to believe in him, instead, everything happens within the framework of naturalness, apart from a few cases where he approaches the believers more obviously, who are no longer endangered by this because they believe in him and his might. Now fellow human beings can be pointed out and they too can come to faith if they are willing, that is, if they strive for good and only need a push to see God, who will also let himself be found then. In the coming time the signs God gives to people will increase so that they shall recognize him. His reign and activity will become more obvious, because the spiritual adversity of the time necessitates this and, on the other hand, people are less receptive than ever for something extraordinary and try to explain all phenomena in this respect intellectually. Therefore such phenomena will not mean compulsion of faith for people but they will bring increased strength and faith to the believers. And therefore God reveals himself to his own and also to those who want to return to him, who only lacked strength and faith. He helps them to find him. He comes to them himself, and he will also be recognized where the human being's will is not completely turned away from him. Amen.